Hey guys, this is AJ from Sexy in the City, going ahead and reporting to you live. What you just saw are three of the most common bar games, and after special customer request, what we're going to go ahead and cover this week are the most popular bar games that you can play in Padia. I'm going to show you how to play them, I'm going to show you what they mean, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them and how long they've been around. So without further ado, here we go. Going back to the game, so we're going to do one game after the other. So, our first game is Jackpot. This is probably the most common game that you will see in your time in Padia here. Now, keep in mind that when you play any game in Padia against a bar or girl, whether you win or lose, you're usually going to be expected to buy a lady drink. And they're normally going to go ahead and have you play for additional shots as well. But it's fun, it's a way to pass the time, and they're very, very popular throughout the city. So jackpot's very simple. As you can see, it's a game of chance, one through nine. We play it with three dice here for speed, but most bars play it with two dice. Very, very simple. Most people will throw one dice each to see who goes first. If it's a tie, as that was, they'll throw it again, again, a tie. So the person with four, or the highest, goes first. You then have three rolls to go ahead and attempt to go ahead and knock out or jackpot the whole board. Actually, I clearly can't count. Four, three, seven. So once again, that was my first roll. My second roll, four and seven. What a shit roll. My third roll, three and one. Not very much. So then, goes back down and it's the next person's turn. We play it with three dice, same rules. One person rolls to see who goes first. First person with four goes. But then you simply go ahead and you roll three dice. So, five, six, seven, eight, three, two. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven. You guys see that? Five, six, seven, eight. That was my first roll. My second roll. Five, five, and three. Not a good roll. Keep in mind, three fives is an instant win. Three sixes is an instant loss. Okay, one, that was better. Four, five, six, no nine. Then it goes back to the second player. The first person to get a jackpot wins and therefore wins the drinks. That's game number one. Game number two. You may be a lot more familiar with this puppy here. Game number two is Connect Four. Very, very simple. But, for the purpose of it, almost every beer bar again has these games. For the purpose of it, the object is very simple. To match four vertically, well, vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. First person to go, you can play rock, scissors, paper, or just let them go. Go there. Then the other person, go there. I'm going to make this quick for... Uh, diagnosis purposes. Some of the girls are very, very, very good at this game as there is a strategy to it. I'm not going to tell you what that is and it is a game of skill. That being said, if the girls played every single day and you haven't, let's say Pink is a bar girl, she's likely to win every time. But if you're good, it can be fun and entertaining to play with a bar girl. Game number three, my personal favorite, and there may be other games in Padia too, but these are just the most common, is Jenga. If you're not familiar with Jenga, or you have never played it before, it's a rack of blocks. This is normally taken off, but for this purpose I'm not going to do so. It's normally taken off, and the object is to build upwards. So what I mean by that is each person will take their turn going ahead and popping out with one hand a block and rebuilding the exact same way, three, 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 until the tower falls. The person who cannot push out a block and it causes the tower to fall, loses. You can play this game in a couple different ways. You can play it with three or four other people. You can play it with a round table. Um, you can do crazy rules in which you build up, which is popular here, and you can build it any way upwards to the sky and make sure that if it falls below 10 levels, you lose. Those are the three most common bar games in Thailand that the staff of bars love to play. Thank you guys. Have a great week. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.